uh, now let us consider another basic transformation operations that is CR. Uh, CR is basically distorting the shape of the object. Now, in this case, uh, the object is uh, considered as a uh, collection of layers, parallel layers, and according to the direction of shearing force, all the layers will slide with respect to each other. And definitely, there will be some reference plane and there will be no displacement, no slide of the layer which is attached on that reference, layer, reference plane. Let us consider, let us take an example. Suppose we are considering a two dimensional object, rectangular object, say this, and this object lies on x axis. This object lies on x axis. Initially, let us consider that we are applying that tensile force along, we are applying the force along this x axis. And if we consider this object is consisting of a collection of layers like this, and when this force is applied, then all these layers will slide one after another in such a way that this reference plane, because we are considering shear with respect to this x axis, there will be no sliding of the plane attached with this reference plane. Examples is considered this is a stack of cards, and each card is like a plane, and if you apply a force, then all the cards will slide one after other and such that there is no slide of the card which is attached here and the card which is at the top that will slide the most and the card which is uh, slowly uh, very nearer to the reference plane, the displacement will be less. So, after this uh, sphere, the cards will be like this. So, that the point A is shifted to A dust, the point B is shifted to B dust, this is B dust and O remains in the same positions, let this is say P, P also remains in the same positions. So, this is called CR and this is CR along x directions, CR along x directions. So, note one important uh, observations from this that is the displacement is proportionate to the distance from the reference plane. As the distance from the reference plane is less, the displacement is comparatively less and if the distance from the reference line is more, then the displacement is also more. So, displacement is proportionate to the distance of the point object point from the reference plane. So, from this observations we can write that what will be the in this case observe that there is no change in the uh, distance y, y is remain same because uh, this points y and this points y is remain same. So, transformation for the transformation equations y dashed of the object point y dashed remains y. But for the uh, shearing force along x direction, x changes, x dash becomes initial x, if we, if we consider this is x y and this is x dash y dash. So, y remains same and x is shifted by this amount, so x plus the shift. So, x plus the shift, now what is this shift? The shift is, shift is proportionate to, you see that shift is proportionate to the distance from the reference plane, shift is proportionate to y. So, we can consider this shift is some constant, we are calling this as S H x into y. So, we are considering this constant of proportionality as S H x. So, we can consider this shift is S H x into y. So, we can write the transformation equations as x is equal to x plus S H x into y. So, 
these are the transformation equations transformation equation and shx is the shearing constant along x direction shx where what is shx is the shearing constant shearing constant along x direction and once we have the uh, transformation equations our next task is to represent these transformation equations in the form of matrix uh, operations so we can easily write x dashed y dashed 1 this equal to some operator sharing operator operated on x y 1 that is object point so what will be this operator this will be 1 1 into x and shx into y so this is shx into y and this is 0 and y remains same so this is 0 1 0 1 into y this remains y and 0 0 1 so we can call this operator as cr operator we call this as cr operator shx okay shx and the crring is done by shx this amount is shx we can write in this notations and operated on p and this is your p test in the same way if we apply shearing force along y direction so the diagrams will be like this this is x this is y and object is but in this case we have to consider the object is composed of a collection of planes okay parallel to y y axis because shearing force will be along y direction and if we apply force along this y direction so sliding will be al along the direction of the force so after this application of the force the shifting of the layers will be like this so this point a is shifted to a dash this point b is shifted to b dash and the shifting is proportionate to the distance from the reference line so this is here the reference plane along along the uh, reference plane we are applying the force so the shift is proportional to the distance from this reference plane so in this case also we can say the shift is taking place along y direction so shift is proportionate to the distance from the reference plane is proportional to x so the amount of shift is some constant shy we are calling this as shy into x so the transformation equations in this case is represented by x dash okay in this case x dash remains same because uh, x component of every plane remains same so x dash is x and y dash is given by initial y plus the shift y value is initial y value plus the shift this shift so this is or in this case this shift shift is given by shy into x so these are the transformation transformation equation okay when the shearing is along okay along y direction so again in this case we can write the equations as x dash y dash 1 this is equal to that operator operated on object point x y 1 so this operator is definitely given by 1 0 0 this x remains same and this is y so this is 1 into y and this is s h y okay s h y into y this s h y this is sorry i'm sorry this is s h y s h y into x and this is 1 and this is 0 and this is 0 0 1 so this is p dust in this case this is p dust if we if we, if we consider this is p any point say this point is p whose coordinate is x y and this is p dust whose coordinate is x dust y dust so 
and this value is this value is x and this value is now y plus y dash y, y plus sit. So p dash is equal to that operator shear okay uh, with respect to y axis by s h y and operated on p. So, these two are the principal uh, shearing operators with respect to the principal axis x axis y axis. Instead of that we can apply the shearing along both x direction and y direction simultaneously. So, th in that case we have to apply that uh, shearing along both x and y directions. We will consider those problems okay, afterwards, but for the time being we have discussed so far the different operators, different operations which are very basic operations and next we will consider uh, different operations which are compositions of these basic operations and definitely the inverse of the operations.